coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. Now through the end of August is prime season for severe thunderstorm activity on the prairies, with approximately 12 tornadoes reported each year in Saskatchewan. The Janie and Helen Rimple Community Garden has been a project in the works for several months and is now officially open off Walker Street, adjacent to the Chinook Parkway. The city of Swift Current has numerous parks offering an array of activities and park space. However, one which stands out is ACT Park on 4th Avenue Northeast. Thanks for joining us here today. Summer storms can roll in quickly, causing extensive damage. And you're being reminded to keep your eyes on the sky. Now through the end of August is prime season for severe thunderstorm activity on the prairies, with approximately 12 tornadoes reported each year in Saskatchewan. And at the heart of the severe weather are lightning strikes, which can pose a great danger to individuals and livestock. You know, very simply, we always say, you know, when the thunder roars, go indoors. I mean, that's probably a quick and dirty little kind of uh, uh, ditty that uh, you can remember and think about. And, and, you know, every year in Canada, we see generally about 10 deaths from lightning, uh, 165 on average injuries, people who are hospitalized. And, and boy, I can tell you, it's not, not fun being struck by lightning. It can be, it can almost be like resetting your computer. Uh, it's, um, it can be memory loss and, and all kinds of health ailments if you've been struck by lightning. And when severe weather strikes, you're advised to seek shelter immediately and ride out the storm from a safe location. You know, if you're outdoors, uh, seek shelter in a sturdy building. Um, if uh, not uh, a good building around, well, maybe a car uh, is a uh, vehicle, a truck. Uh, inside the cab of a truck would be a good place to, to be. Uh, as long as you're not touching any electrical um, metal. Uh, it's all right to talk on a cell phone, but not a landline phone. Stay away from plumbing. Uh, if you're near water, uh, head to shore uh, soon. Uh, and, uh, but it's a matter of taking, uh, taking shelter. And if, my God, if the, if the vehicle's not around or no shelter, well, you don't want to be the highest object in a, in a field. So clearly stay away from any, any trees or, or tall uh, tall structures that could uh, attract, uh, not attract lightning, but conduct the lightning into the, uh, to the ground. And remember that, you know, most people who are hit, killed, and injured by lightning are not hit directly by lightning. It's usually a ground flash. It hits the ground, travels along the ground, and comes up tree roots or plumbing and then zaps you, or, or what we call a, a side flash. It hits a tree and then and then bounces or, or over to you would be standing near, uh, near a tree. Weather alerts generally are issued early in the day as systems begin to develop. Then Environment Canada will issue watches and warnings for specific areas as the weather system intensifies. Therefore, by keeping your eyes on the sky and being aware of the weather forecast throughout the day, you can enjoy a safe summer season. For over 12 years, Southwest TV News has provided the visuals for the defining moments in our community. Support your community and help us to continue our work. Support our sponsors by watching the ads on YouTube and by clicking the ads on our website. Pennies per click, which will help us continue to bring you the award-winning news coverage you've come to expect from Southwest TV News. The Cypress Hills Interprovincial Park is a popular destination for tourists throughout the summer months. Guests from around the world come to the park to be one with nature and enjoy the many amenities from camping, hiking trails, and more. There's nothing quite so pretty as the hills that shouldn't be. Well, if you've always wanted to grow your own vegetables but lack the space, you can now rent your own garden box in Swift Current. The Janie and Helen Rimple Community Garden has been a project in the works for several months and is now officially open off Walker Street, adjacent to the Chinook Parkway. The site offers various garden boxes for rent to anyone having a green thumb but lacking the space to watch the fruits of their labor grow. 
The community garden was realized through a partnership with the City of Swift Current, which provides the water and on-site maintenance, along with a generous donation of 12 city lots and financial investment for the design and construction of the gardens by Bob Sontag. How when he originally purchased this land, he wanted to do condos or he wanted to do apartments and he was going to make zillions of dollars. And then, you know, things happen, you get older and, you know, with his wife's illness and with the passing away of... Um, of Helen Rempel, he realized that zillions of dollars isn't what's important. What's important is people and the community. And he goes, he knew he wanted to do something and he wasn't sure what he wanted to do. And um, you know, he started reading about community gardens and he thought, it's a beautiful parkland around here. It's a beautiful setting. This is what I want to do with that land. And so he approached the city and he spoke to them and this is basically his legacy to his wife and to his mother-in-law. The garden boxes are all irrigated, with renters using their own seed and garden tools, with on-site washrooms, outdoor sinks for washing garden produce, complete with benches and a gazebo overlooking the parkway. A welcome addition to the city, and one which the mayor is proud to see in his community. I actually think this is, and I mean this most sincerely, the nicest, most well thought out community garden in all of Canada. And to have it right here on our floodplain, you know, right by the creek, is, is just beautiful. Yeah, we, we're so fortunate. It makes me think that this was always in the plans to have a community garden right here because it fits so well and just so thankful for what we have here today. For more information on renting a seasonal garden box from the Janie and Helen Rempel Community Garden, contact the City of Swift Current. Imagine a destination where you can enjoy world-class dining and unique accommodations. Take a leisurely stroll through streets filled with rich history while browsing for that perfect gift. Buy fresh produce from the farmer's market and enjoy a range of cultural events while stepping back in time to learn more about Canada's Old West. Your summer destination is awaiting you in Maple Creek. For event listings and all things Maple Creek, visit our website. Mark October 18th through 21st on your calendar and plan to attend the CCA Finals Rodeo in Swift Currents. The top cowboys and cowgirls will compete in all of your favorite rodeo events, vying for the CCA Championship title. And wrap up your weekend with the CCA Finals Rodeo Cabaret featuring Sweet Tequila. Get your tickets now for the CCA Finals Rodeo, October 18th through 21st in Swift Currents. ACT Park in Swift Current is now fully accessible for everyone, thanks to some recent upgrades. The city of Swift Current has numerous parks offering an array of activities and park space. However, one which stands out is ACT Park on 4th Avenue Northeast. A ribbon cutting was recently held at the park, recognizing the upgrades to the site, making it fully accessible to everyone. A park which the Lawrence family are frequent patrons of, with their daughter Madison, and appreciate the many amenities for all ages. Of course, with our daughter using a wheelchair, it's a top of mind issue for us, and I think it should be for any community, really, when you look at the statistics that one in seven Canadians, and that's over the age of 15, has a disability. Think of how many people in your community that that impacts, it's not only the kids, but it's parents that might have disabilities that want to come and enjoy this park with their kids, or you know, people with mobility issues, just, just you know, getting, getting older, or, you know, the, the usual kind of things that, that come and happen to us. And so I think, it's, I think it's so important for us, for the kids, for families that um, you know, deal with the challenges of accessibility. From the paved pathways, wheelchair accessible washrooms, to a parking lot on site, these additions make a positive impact for families. So lots of the other parks would have pea gravel as a surface instead of the pour in place rubber surface. And so Basically, you know, if we were to take Madison to the park, we can get to the edge of the concrete and then that's it. You know, we can't push her wheelchair on that, she can't get around that. And, you know, we just feel like a park like this is a lot safer for her with mobility issues. Overall enhancements, which the city would like to offer at all of its parks, but the transition won't happen overnight. 
Parks to this magnitude, especially the poor in place surfaces, are a lot more expensive than the regular pea gravel or uh, the sand surfaces that you used to see in our uh, facilities. So that's where we're really lucky and fortunate to have uh, some of our funding partners within our community uh, develop these parks. Um, we're definitely seeing that there is a community need and something that we obviously would like to work towards. ACT Park in Swift Current was first made accessible in 1998 and over the years has expanded to the new and improved facility it is today. The most recent improvements came at a cost of $575,000, which included a donation of $10,000 from the ACT Club and $25,000 from a federal grant. Market Square is a summer tradition in downtown Swift Current, featuring live entertainment, fresh garden produce, crafts, and other unique vendors. Drop by Market Square every Saturday at the corner of Central and Chaplin. Proudly presented by the City of Swift Current, Standard Motors, Innovation Credit Union, and Southwest TV News. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at southwesttvnews.com. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews. Thank <laughs> you.